Recent financial events are forcing the world's powers to try to control an escalating global crisis, racing towards collapse. In a reality where the actions of one nation can determine the world's fate, some countries are reverting to economic protectionism. Other leaders are taking steps towards centralizing control under a world government. As they are all trying to contain this negative butterfly effect that globalization is generating, they are missing one crucial element, that without it, all actions are not only futile, but can only lead to deeper crises. This element is so simple, fundamental, and obvious, it has eluded mankind for millennia. This is exactly what we're about to uncover. Globalization is the manifestation of the connection between all parts of humanity as one system. For the first time in history, we are forced into a system of inescapable interdependency, blind to the consequences of our actions. We already existed in a similar form in ancient Mesopotamia. Back then we were also confined in one small place and our egoism became apparent. We couldn't get along with each other. And then we moved away from each other, we moved apart. But today we can no longer be disconnected and this is why we have to learn what it means to be bound together within one system. It seems that any move we make in this fragile global system results in chain reactions we can't control. And the worst thing is, we still think we can figure it out. Man's nature is completely egoistic. This is how each and every one of us is built. Naturally, our calculations with respect to anyone and towards the whole world are only in order to benefit, in order to succeed in being more than everyone. Not to feel good by connecting with everyone, but to feel good by being higher than everyone. And all 7 billion worldviews are being crammed together into one time and one space. And there is no way out. However, a slight shift in our perspective reveals that there is a way in. In here, there are more than 7 billion individuals who successfully coexist. In every living body, even on the vegetative level, all the more so on the animate level, all systems work in an integral, reciprocal way, in harmony with each other, meaning there is no element that serves itself, but they exist and live in order to serve the whole body. In here, they interact from an internal awareness of their interconnection. They all work according to one unifying principle. It is the force behind the whole of existence, connecting elements into systems and systems into a single whole. It is the quality of unconditional bestowal. The general law of nature is the law of bestowal and love. This is why nature is capable of creating everything, building its elements of inanimate, vegetative, animate and human, enlivening them and bringing them to a corrected state. This motivates them with an instinctive direction to work for the common aim, creating the fertile soil for a new, greater, infinitely higher level of existence. You. Not just your physical body that's watching this screen, but that conscious point of awareness that is now connecting with the idea of this film. That single point is one of seven billion cells of humanity's body desperately trying to operate this immense and intricate system without knowing or using its primary unifying principle, 
the law of nature. That is the missing element that's been eluding mankind. The wisdom of Kabbalah reveals to us that force of love, that force of mutual bestowal, that force of connectedness that lies within the corrected, global, integral, harmonious, modern society. However, there is one difference between our cells and us. They instinctively follow nature's law, and we, as conscious beings, must agree with it of our own free will and accord. The wisdom of Kabbalah helps an individual see that system in its true form, in its correct form. And when one starts being drawn to that system, realizing how good it is, he learns it and then he envisions how better, how beautiful it is to be in it. From that, he receives power. It's like a child that grows up, like when we are attracted to something good. He receives from his future corrected state, so to speak, to his present corrupted state, he receives the powers to achieve that correction. As we intentionally emulate the cells, making ourselves aware of our common body, we will start sensing nature's unifying principle working through us. By doing so, we will not only transcend the perils of man's short-sighted solutions, we will create something wonderful. Think about it. If your cells created you, imagine what we will create.